So in this video, we're going to be salting the salmon so that it can go and cure. But before we do that, I just want to talk a little bit about the salt I'm using. So this is kosher salt, it gets its name because it's widely used by the Jewish community for koshering meat. It's got quite a coarse crystalline texture to it so that when you do rub it into meat, it tends to abrade it. But when you lay this on top of fish, it takes a while for it to turn into brine. So you find that the curing times are usually extended. So anywhere between sort of 18 to 24 hours is usually fine. I tend to go for 18 hours. Now, on the other hand, I also use very fine salt, like this kind of fine table salt. It has a very, very fine texture, so when you lay it on the salmon, it turns to brine very quickly. So typically, if you use this type of salt, you're going to need to cut down the amount you use. I'll talk about that in a while. It still makes a, a perfectly good smoked salmon, but you just need to be careful about the length of time you cure it for. So anywhere between sort of eight to 12 hours with this type of salt. Now you also can use herb salts if you so inclined. So the one on the left here is a hibiscus salt and the one on the right is a Provence salt. It's a lot coarser that one on the right so the curing times are going to be extended. Typically you wouldn't ordinarily mix herbs into your salts but you know if you if so inclined you can also put a little bit of sweetener and dill onto the uh, cure to make your salmon look a little bit more attractive and also give it an interesting taste. But these are an option if you're so inclined, but you know, you can just go with the salt. That's absolutely fine too. Right, let's get on with the salting of the salmon. Right, we're ready to lay some salt down into this tray for the salmon to sit on. And we'll pop the salt onto there. We're using kosher salt, which is Quite coarse. It takes some time to cure and break down into a brine, so it uh, allows for a nice long curing period. And we're going to lay a very thin layer on top of it, no more than about four to five percent by weight. But it's going to sit on top, nice and evenly, just like you see here. You can see here a side that I've salted on a previous occasion, and I've used very fine table salt here and it's completely turned to brine. You can see a little film of the salt on top of the salmon and it's really soaked in. You have to be very careful when you do this using this type of salt because it actually can make your salmon very very salty. So the idea behind it is to use a very small amount, maybe no more than 3%, 2 to 3%. But um, I want to draw your attention also to the fact that there is a pool of brine in the bottom of the tray. If you look towards the bottom of the picture, you can see that quite clearly. And this little sort of moat around the edge of the tray is a very useful thing to have. And it allows that brine that runs off to escape away from the fillet so that it doesn't tend to over cure it. Also, when you pull it out the fridge, you, you notice quite quickly that uh, you've you've been curing because there's usually um, about a quarter of a cupful of that brine ready to throw away. Well, that's it. That's salted now. We're going to pop this open into the fridge for 12 to 18 hours for it to cure, and then we'll come back to it and check it out later. 